M0FXP, welcome back to the channel, WPSD Digital Voice Dashboard. Today we're looking at activating the M17 part of this software. Now remember, I'm not really teaching, I am just doing this in front of you. If you want to know how to do it properly, please look up the WPSD instruction manual and work this out for yourself. But you can watch me doing this and uh, as a novice. So the first thing we'll do is go to admin, of course, we're using the WPSD system already. I've made several videos on that. So we'll go to admin. And then we'll go over to advanced. The hat that I've got connected is a normal budget MMDVM hat that's plugged onto a Raspberry Pi Zero. I'll show you a photograph of one. This is your classic hat, but it could be a duplex double hat, but this is a a simplex hat and it's 14.7 megahertz which is important when upgrading the firmware that you know that it is written on the chip the tcxo chip on the board um, so zoom in you'll see the megahertz so back to wpsd which is running at the moment we're going to go over to tools okay look here it says tools but just remember i'm just going to start again so it's very clear to you you go admin then you go to advanced, then tools, then down to modem firmware upgrade. Okay. I'm gonna go up, choose your type at the top. I know that mine's 14.7 megahertz. Most of them are, to be honest. Um, but you need to just double check and make sure. MM, DVM, hat, 14.7 megs, upgrade modem. Right, and this should do this for you. And I have actually already got version 1.6.1 on there, but I'm still going to tell it to do it anyway. Um, and most of you will be running an older version. Once you've done this, then you're going to be able to, oh, that was quick because it's already done it, um, use M17. So that's good news. It says past, still going on, preparing to flash hat. Oh, it's still going to do it. So it downloads the firmware onto the system, checks that it's available, prepares to flash, and then you have to wait. I'm gonna leave it live, you can fast forward it. If you've not used WPSD before, then the best way is just to download it and try it out. You know, that's, that's the best way. Um, there's extensive instructions, videos, there's a Discord page. You know, don't rely on my learning to get this correct. Just watch what I do. If it helps you, great. If it doesn't, um, no worries. So it says here, you will need to refresh your dashboard to reflect the updated firmware version. Okay, and it's done. And that's how you do it. And I will refresh the dashboard like so. I'll go to, oh, it's doing it again now. Oops. Go to dashboard and it says it up here 1.6.1 because it's uh, I already had it anyway so hopefully this will help you now if we go to the admin here then configuration what I'll do is I will have you heard of M17 let me just show you their website or their web page there it is there it's basically like a open source digital mode. It's called M17. Uh, just check it out. Yeah, read all about it. Okay. And so if we go back to the dashboard. And what we're going to do is turn on M17. Configuration. I'm going to turn off DMR. Now I haven't got an M17 radio and it's quite hard to get one. You can make them. Um, but um, I haven't got one. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to turn off DMR. But I'm going to turn on M17 and apply the changes. And then I'm going to grab my, I have got Droid Star. Droid Star does have M17 on it. So I'm going to check it out with that. Okay, let's go back to the dashboard. M17 is there. Reflector M17, M17C, that looks good to me. And that's the one I'm going to try and talk to in a second. 
Okay, so I've got Dude Star on my PC, which is identical to Droid Star. I'll put a link in so you can download that yourself because it does connect to you know DMR, D Star, Fusion. But at the moment, we if I just um, disconnect here. So when you go to the settings, go there. Look, I've got my DMR number number in there, call sign. Okay, passwords that you might need for. For Brandmeister, that kind of thing. Okay, I just realised that my my uh, pictures were in the way, so let's do that again. So download, run, Dude Star, and you can connect to M17. I'll show you how to connect to M17 because I'll make a video. First thing you do is once you've got it. Go to settings, get your call sign in, your DMR number ETC. Back to the main page, choose your mode. So you can do YSF, you can do DMR, DSTAR and lots more. So we've chose M17. Then in the long drop down, drop down here where it says host, drop it down, choose M17, M17. It's quite low down. Then choose module here, C tick these two boxes and then click connect there might be a bit of a delay eventually you'll connect you'll know you're connected because here it will give you the option in green to TX let's just um, transmit and show you on my dashboard I know you've already seen it but let's just do it again should make this even bigger M0 FXB calling for a contact Mike 0 Fox X-ray Bravo calling for a contact I don't think anyone's going to come back. I do like the whole idea and the development of M17, but and I know that there's constant improvements happening all the time if you look at their website. But where are all the people that we can talk to on M17? You know, that's to me the the end goal because M17 now has been in development for years. The end goal is that us hams can get together, chat on this new open source system, uh, and that not that the end goal? It's not just about development, although development is really important and, and excellent that that is happening, and you can never take away that from the developers, but we need, well, I feel, as a user, you know, exciting stuff. But we want to use it. Um, so otherwise, you can see that M17 is now working on my device. And what I'll do, just so you hear the noise from M17, I'll grab a radio. So this is just an analog radio. But when I transmit on M17, M0, you can hear the digital. So if that was an M17 radio, you would be listening to M17, but obviously it's not an M17 radio. Better turn it off because it's too noisy. <laughs> um, but you can see that thanks to W0CHP's firmware update, and whether it we're using it on this system or any other system, because of it, now my hat, which you can see just here, running WPSD, and I have been told off for calling it. Oh, it's a bit not focusing very good, is it? I have been told off for not calling it WPSD and calling it W0CHP. Okay, and um, yeah, so if you are trying to do as much research as you can yourself, get as much information as you can yourself about this system because it is. There is support, but I think they want you to do a lot of legwork yourself first. Bye for now, 7-3.